Hello again. Here we are to talk about our daily JavaScript. And, uh, you know, I've, in the last couple of videos, I created an example with these flipping cards right here. And what I'd like to do is try and make a game, you know, and maybe what we'll do first is we'll, um, you know, create a set where there's pairs, right? And the idea is to guess the matching pairs. Um, but what this means is we need to randomize the the items that go in here, right? So, you know, so we have two of a kind and we have to make sure that there's two, right? And that they're randomly, you know, distributed. So uh, so how would we go about doing that? Well, let's take a, take a look at a few things here. Um, I have another example here. Uh, let me refresh that, right? Uh, let me save it and refresh it, right? And in this example here, um, I just have an empty HTML document with a script tag at the bottom, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an array. And I'll just put some elements in here. They'll just be strings. Hey, you could look at my other example on how to um, generate the alphabet with JavaScript. I'm actually going to do it the hard way today and just type the, the, the values in. Um, and there we go. So I've got the uh, I've got my array, and it's got four items in it. And let's imagine what we wanted to do is we wanted to, um, you know, get a set of random items. Like I want to get three different letters, but I want to choose randomly from the four that are available. Okay. And uh, so how would how would I do that, right? Well, first of all, I need to be able to grab some things out of the array. Okay. And I don't want to have a duplicate. Okay, so once I take something out of the array, maybe I want to delete that item from the array. Okay, so how, how would I go about doing that? Um, let's, let's give it a try. So the, uh, the array class in JavaScript um, provides a couple methods. One of the methods is called slice. Okay, um, before we begin, maybe we'll do this also. Um, every element in an array is held at an index. So the first item is at index 0. And the second one is at index 1. The third one's index two, and the fourth one is index, or the fourth one is index three. Why did I type a four there? Right, so uh, so there we go, zero, one, two, three. So let's talk about slice for a minute, okay? So to get something out of the array, we might say, you know, um, array dot slice, okay? And uh, you can see that brackets gives me some code hints. So it says number from number two. Okay, so uh, so if we say from number zero to number one, it seems like you would get A and B, but this is actually going to give us just A, I think, right? So um, let's console log that and take a look at it, right? So I'll wrap that in console log, and I'm also going to put... Um, I'm going to put array here. So I'm going to log the array that we slice. So here when we slice, slice is going to return to us a portion of the array as an array. So it's going to, slice is going to give us an array that is a portion of the array that we're, you know, conducting the slice on. Okay. And then here we're going to, we're going to log the original array. Okay. So we'll take a look here in the output window and you can see that, um, what I have here is, let me move this up here like this. We can see it together. And you can see what I have here is um, I have a sing an array with a single item in it. So I got the item at index zero and then two item one, right? But actually it's up to, you know, less one less than this number. So it actually just gives us number one. But notice the square bracket. So slice returned an array. Okay, so it gave us an array, and then the original array was untouched, so nothing changed here, right? Let's try it again. What if we say, um, give us item number two, right? Or, you know, start at zero and then go up to item number two, okay? So here you can see now it gives us an array with items A and B in it, and the original array is unchanged, okay? What if we started at item one and went up to item two? So if we started here and we went up to item two, but not including item two, then that would just give us B, right? 
Oh, so there's B, right? Um, slice also uses negative numbers. So if we started at item zero, and then we said, you know, negative one here, you can see we get, you know, the entire array minus one item, okay? And if I put, uh, you know, minus two right here, you can see it gives me the first two and the second two, negative one and negative two, subtract the, the ones from the end. So, you know, with a negative number this for the second value, it counts from the end of the, the array towards the, the starting number, right? So, you know, we could get to B also by saying, you know, one and negative two. So we'd be starting at B, this is index one, and then we'd subtract two from the end, right? Okay, so now remember, in, in this case, we're getting a new array, right? But the old array is unchanged, okay? So so let's try it again. Um, I'm going to uh, put a comment here, and now let's talk about splice. So slice is one function of array, and the other method or function is called splice. Right, and splice looks like this. We'll do the same thing we did before. We'll say, you know, array dot splice, right? And splice does a couple things. You can see that brackets gives me a couple options here. It says uh, number position, number amount, and then it doesn't show it, but there's actually another option that you can add on the end, which is the number of items to add into the array. So splice um, starts at an index, deletes items, for a number of count from that index, and then it also lets you add new items to the array at that index. Let, let's give it a try. So, and again, splice also returns an array. So let's imagine we wanted to, to remove the letter A from our array here. What we would do is we would say um, splice, start at index zero, count of one, okay? And what I think I'll do is I'll just console log and log the output here. Like this, and then we'll, we'll log the original array too so we can see that it changes. Okay, so you can see here um, with splice, I said begin at index zero and then delete number of items one. Right, so delete one item. So what happened is, is splice returned an array with one item in it, starting at index zero, and then the original array had that item removed. So the A no longer exists here, but it was passed on. So, you know, if we want to create a system where we choose random items from this array, and we don't want duplicates, we're gonna use splice so we can remove an item from the array, and then choose another random item, right? So, um, you know, there's other ways to do this, but that's the way I think I'm going to take, right, later. Let's talk a little bit more about splice and slice here, right? So, so splice is pretty interesting. Let's imagine we want to try and remove the letter C. So this is index number two, and we want to remove one item, right? So I'll, I'll put a number two here. So we're going to start here, and then the count of items we're going to remove is going to be one. Okay, so I'll refresh and do it here, and you can see we've got A, B, D, so the C is missing, but it was passed back to us from the slice operation. So here it is, in an array, okay? Let's imagine we wanted to get the C and the D, right? Well, I'll say start at index two, and then count two items. So this will be one and two, right? So I'll save that, and we'll refresh here. And now you can see I've got my original array still containing A and B, but the new array that was returned from the splice operation um, is an array containing C and D. Okay, um, let's try another one. Let's say we want to get, you know, B and C. Well, we could start at item one and return two items. And there we go. So now we got B and C, but the A and D are left behind. So one other thing in, that we're gonna that you can do with splice also is is add new items to an array. So, you know, if I want to insert items, let's say between the, uh, I want to remove B and C and replace them with two items, like let's say E and F, 
right? I can include the items that I want to add to the array as further parameters after the first two parameters, right? So now you can see that I've, I've removed B and C and they were returned from splice. And then now, since right where that operation began, where the, the, the beginning index was at index one, the E and the F were added, okay? If you want to insert elements into an array, but you don't want to remove anything, then you can set the delete count to zero, or, right? So, so here we're going to begin at index one, we're going to delete nothing, and we're going to insert E and F, okay? So we'll refresh here, and then you can see we've got, you know, index one, and we're going to insert E and F, and then we get B, C, and D, right? Um, nothing was removed. But notice Slice also returned an empty array. So it still returns an empty array even if you don't remove anything, right? Because you didn't remove anything. It's just returning an array with the things that you removed and there was nothing removed, right? So it returns an empty array. So anyway, so there's a quick look at um, Slice and, and Splice, right? And uh, let's imagine, you know, we, wanna, we want to, to use this now to get some random items, right? So remember, the um, to get a random item from an array, we might want to use a function like this. Let's say random. And uh, just to help us out here, I'll make a function to make things easier. We'll say random range. And maybe we want to return math.floor, or yeah, math.floor, and then math.random times the range like this, right? And then if I want to get a random item, we could say, um, let's imagine we want to do, um, let me put a comment here. Now we can say, you know, console log um, array uh, dot splice and the item that I want to remove is going to be random right and the range is the array length because I might want to get any item in the array and then the number of items I want to remove will be one okay so that'll give me return one item from the array and then that item would be removed from the array right? So the, the current array after the splice operation will contain one less item, but it'll be random which item was removed, right? So let's, uh, let's save that and we'll test it here. And you can see that that time it chose B and then it left A, C, and D left in the array. This, it chose B again there, it chose C, A, right? Oh, there's D, right? So it managed to get them all without any errors, right? So now if we perform the operation again on the array for the length of the array, we could uh, we could remove one of the remaining items and we would not get a duplicate because the item w had been already removed, right? So the previous items were, were removed. Um, so anyway, so that'll get you started. And, uh, you know, if you built the other example, you can try it on your own and try and assign a different color to the back face of each of the flipping items or um, a different image or something, right? Um, but that's what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to use splice to work our way through the array and make sure we don't get any duplicates, right? Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that's um, helpful um, for anybody that was working with arrays and trying to figure out slice and splice, right?